Hi everyone, in this opportunity, we're going to show you how to make a map using QGIS. Here I have my QGIS opened and I have already imported um, some shape files. And to make a map, we have to go where it says project and then create a new print composer. So we click here where it says new print composer and then we choose a name, for example, map one. Then we click OK and appears this window. First of all, so we can see our map, we need to click where it says add a new map. Click here and then draw a rectangle of the size we want and it will it will copy the the image we have here on QGIS. Here we can change the scale. For example, I can change it manually or I could select First of all, click here where it says move item content and with the scroll of the mouse, I can zoom in or zoom out. Also, while, while this option is chosen, I can move the map. Maybe I want to center my map somewhere else. I can zoom. And let's say I want to show this area. Okay, what else can I do here? I can go in this menu where it says item properties and choose the one that says grids. Click here, the plus symbol. So appears the grid number one. Then where it says interval, I can choose the interval of the grid in the X axis. For example, I'm going to write 10,000. 10, and on the other axis, for example, 10,000 as well. You can choose the number that you want. Also, if you want to see the coordinates, we select here where it says draw coordinates and they appeared. Maybe you can see that the numbers are too small. So here you have the option of font. We can change the size of the letter. We can also change the style. We click OK. Also, we can change the format of the numbers. We can choose decimal or degrees. In this case, we're going to choose decimal and to zero. We also can see that change the position of this coordinate. So we do it, do it here, the right coordinate where it says here horizontal, we can change it to vertical ascending, for example. This is the right one and the left one. We can change it as well to vertical ascending. Also, could just give us the option to add a frame. Here we have a a frame has appeared, we can change the color of the frame, also the thickness of the frame. We can increase it here to 0.4 millimeters, for example. Another option that we can use is this one, that is add a new scale bar. We click here, then click on the map, and we have a, um, a scale bar. Here we can also change the, 
properties of the scale bar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Also, we have here another option, which is called add a new legend. We click here, click on the map, and here is the legend. This, this legend is representing the same shape files we have here in QGIS. And let's say we don't want, for example, the, the rivers to show on the legend, so we unclick the auto update, we select rivers and then click here the, min, the minus symbol and it disappears. For example, also we can change the size of the of the of the legend here where it says fonts and where it says item item see that it changed also the title we can make it bigger also you can add a figure, an image, with this option, add image. I'm going to add, to add the north symbol here. And then I have to go where it says image source and choose the location of, in this case, my north. I will select it and then open it. Wait a little. And here it is. This is the north. Maybe you can see it properly because of the shapes that are below. So another option we have here is to add a background. For example, a white background. You can see it better now. And what else? Here you have the option to add text with this with this one that is called add new label we click it we click here and then click on the map and where it says main properties we can um, add the name of our map for example map number one you can see that font is too small you can you also have the option to change it here font and for example size 36 and it looks better now and also i can change again the background to a white one map number one and to finish this example I'm going to show you how you can export this map it's really easy you can do it as, a, as an image or as a PDF you just click here where it says export as image and give it a name any name you want map one and click save and you can repeat the same procedure to export it as a pdf i hope that this tutorial has been useful for you don't forget to visit our website hatarilabs.com and until next time thank you